Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. The legendary Yoruba actor Alaji Karim Adekpoju, popularly known as Baba Wande, is one of the prominent players among the veterans in Yoruba Nollywood, a devout Muslim and star of such hit flicks like Tioluwa Nile, Ubukodudu, and Ekun Oko Oke. Ajibola Karim Adekpoju is a son of a tailor. He began his acting profession in the year 1963 with the Duro Ladipo Theatre Group. After a year, he joined the Onyi Adejobi Theatre Group, where he trained under the Nigeria's foremost dramatist, Chief Onyi Adejobi. Baba Wande was later to emerge as one of the most valuable actors of the Onyi Adejobi company. He also became very popular, emerging each time as the star attraction of the group. Baba Wande was the star of Ekuro Loja, Obai Balode, and Kuyi. Indeed, comments about his exploits has been favorable right from that time to this time. He raises the roof in comic shows and is reputed to be a delight to watch. Each time the role required some seriousness. Baba Wande, whose hobbies include reading the Holy Quran, has featured in over 1,000 movie productions and has equally produced many. He has also anchored Islamic program on television, tagged Iwale Sin. Having put in over four decades as an actor, Baba Wande says his greatest career wish is to establish a standard film village in Ocean State. Baba Wande is the type that a director need not show a script, but just find a way to get him to the location. Is that good? His talent bloomed in Kuye, an adaptation of a Yoruba literature book of the same title, where he played the long-suffering, pathetic, dumb kid who later overcame his challenge to become a king. He topped this performance in yet another made-for-TV production entitled Ekuro or Lodja. That was why his versatility as a thespian was first noticed. He played a dubious, psychophantic villain who attempted to usurp the choice of the oracle to anoint another as the king. He became a local legend in yet another made-for-TV adaptation of yet another Yoruba literature book titled Ileti Afi Tomo. He played a man who lost his fortune to a life of recklessness, fate and bad associations. Baba Wande with a few other actors carried the success of the WNTV, later NTV battle, on their bare backs. With over four decades experience as an actor, Alaji Karim Adekwaju has breathed memorable life into diverse roles, both on stage and on screen. He is a legend in the Nigerian film industry. Who is Baba Wande off screen? He is a very shy person, a reserved person and cool-headed. He would not even want people to know that he is around and he prefers to be on his own. Let's talk about his personal life. Babawane has two wives and a lot of children. His children include Adewale, a chartered accountant who worked with First Registrars Nigeria Limited, former subsidiary of First Bank Nigeria POC, is married and he has children on why he married two women. He had this to say, initially, when we started from stage plays, if you didn't have many women around you, nobody would watch your play. That was exactly what informed marrying more than one wife. But nowadays, even if you're not married, you can still shoot your movie. All you need is just invite actresses to play whatever roles you want them to play in the movie. But before, you must have many wives before you can do anything successfully, he said. Since Baba Wande started acting decades ago, which one of his roles is the most challenging? He had this to say. I had interpreted countless roles and I enjoyed every role I had played so far. I am comfortable with whatever role I am asked to interpret. I had interpreted the role of a rich man, traditional ruler, manager, deaf and dumb, to mention a few. But I can say the most challenging of all was when I acted deaf and dumb. In a television series, Queer, produced by my boss, the late Oni Adejobi, that was where I interpreted the role of deaf and dumb. And I thank God that I was able to do this role. It wasn't easy. I had to remain deaf and dumb for about four hours and behave like one too. But one day revealed this in an interview in the year 2013. When he was celebrating his 50 years on stage, he described his experience as full of so many things, both good and bad, soft and hard, pleasant and unpleasant. Starting from the stage play, traveling from one place to the other, then graduating into filmmaking, television series, 
Atoka Yoruba Drama Magazine, and others. Everything is full of history. The journey has been rough and tough, but he thanks God for where he is today. So was there ever a moment that Baba Wande felt like quitting? No, there wasn't any moment or any time like that that he felt like quitting because he joined the profession with the passion that he had for it, which is still the driving force for him to date. So when he considers the financial aspect of the profession, it has not been easy. But when you look at the fame and the way people respect you in the public, you will enjoy being an actor. This was what he revealed. Baba Wande also revealed that the special gain of being an actor, as mentioned earlier, is the way people treat you anywhere you go or enter. People respect you, even at the bank, virtual station or government for our state house. Just mention it. Even ministers, governors, senators, and other people will give you recognition anytime at anywhere. So for him, this is enough achievement. So what are the things that Baba Wande still wants to achieve in the industry? He still wants to be a promoter and a marketer. And he would like to be selling movies, writing plays, directing, and teaching people anything relating to the industry. Baba Wande had this advice for the young generation of actors. All young actors must try and work hard. They should perform very well to ensure that they remain relevant in the industry. They must all work towards ensuring the unity of the industry. I believe they will be bountifully rewarded if they can do this. On the number of his wives and his children, this veteran was not open about that. But he has two wives and has been blessed with a lot of children and grandchildren. How does Baba Wande relax? He relaxes by reading the Quran. Baba Wande's favorite food is amala, yam flour. And he also likes taking pap every morning. His favorite drink is water and he is in his 70s. Which school did he attend? He attended modern school in Agbo Delta State. It was after his elementary education that he started taking part in theatre productions. Are there things that Baba Wande would have loved to do better? No, he can't really point to anything that he would have done better or changed. So is Baba Wande ever going to retire? No, as an actor does not retire. There would always be stories and roles suitable for his age. The older you get, the more experience you have. And once you're talented, it can never leave you. So if Baba Wande was not an actor, what would he have become? He would have been a footballer when he was in school. He used to be the captain of the team. Before the advent of own videos, they had been acting in stage plays, as mentioned earlier, in different places. Some of the notable stage plays that he did in those days include Urugu Adedigba, Ekuroloja, Obai Balude, and many others. When film came, Baba Wande acted with Uba Tugunde in productions such as Aye and Arokwintenio. He also acted with Star Wars and Ugugu in movies such as Omo Ruko. Also, Baba Wande is a prolific writer. He actually wrote most of the scripts for all the movies that he produced. He's a playwright, actor, singer, composer, and many other things rolled into one. So how did he develop his talent? As a stage actor, they used to go on tour to all the parts of the country, including Igboland and Auseland. It was on the course of those travels that he began to develop himself in different areas. As a good stage actor, you must be able to act, sing, and dance. Back then, Baba Wande used to be the lead of the group. We have come to the end of this episode on this fantastic veteran, Karim Adepoju, popularly known as Baba Wande. We hope you learned one or two new things about him. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.